take one corner and I can pass this right through the grommet or in this case a loop. Stick my toggle through and the point of my shelter is established. From here I'm going to spread this out and stake it down. When I'm going around the first time, I'm just going to loosely stake everything in and then adjust it before I drive them home. And once I get this established, I'll take all the sticks from the inside and throw them in my wood pile. adjusting it until everything gets tight enough. Bad. I'll just stick it in tight. I'm gonna have to tie a prusik up here. Drop the toggle in there. Open up that shelter on the inside. That is a diamond or plow point shelter. All that's left to do now is take my sleeping pad. And get everything set up for my bedding. But you see I got a lot of stuff in here, but that's going to go in my wood pile, so I'm just going to get all that out of the way and then set up my bed inside here. So, now I've got my shelter established. I've got, just like every common, every shelter, I've got something to sleep under, something to sleep on, something to sleep in. I already used the cordage. And in this case, I had some stakes. So my shelter's ready to go. 
Now I'm ready to start moving on to other priorities. And if it's something happens, if a storm comes in, I can quickly get in here and, uh, and keep myself from getting wet or cold uh, and kind of uh, protect myself from exposure to the elements. As far as the configuration that I chose, I could have chosen a number of, of configurations to put my tarp in. Um, the, it, it really depends on the weather uh, and what the expected weather and the conditions are. So if it was a lot hotter and I didn't expect that I was going to get any rain, I would probably just do a, a simple lean-to. Uh, that's nice and kind of open, airy shelter, but uh, you know it gives me some shade more or less, more than anything else. Uh, still allows a nice convective breeze to come through if I have that. Um, so, but in this case I didn't because I expect that I'm going to get rained on while I'm out here. So I went with the diamond plow point configuration uh, that gives me coverage on basically on three sides, the back of both sides and a nice open front. I can have my campfire right out here and take advantage of some of that radiant heat at night to keep me cool uh, because I only have just you know one wool blanket uh, to keep warm. Uh, but it also you know offers me the most protection when I expect that it's going to be raining uh, and it may be mild temperatures tonight. Uh, not sure. The other thing that I could have done is is kind of used a an A-frame type um, configuration to where I basically have coverage on two sides. I would use that in, in warm weather when I was expecting rain uh, so I can still take advantage of that nice convective breeze but the direction of the wind may not necessarily put me to where I can see where I actually want to see which is the field that I've got my signals in. Uh, I don't want those two sides kind of down on me and then I can only see you know out where my feet are and not that not be where it's supposed to go. So. Really the advantage is, is this has got a better opening front so I can observe uh, what I'm looking for out there. I can observe where my signals are in that field. So that's why I chose this particular configuration for today, is, is basically because of the expected rain and uh, my ability to see as much as I can out into that field where all my signals are.